Tim, I will start with you. Did Alabama win this game or did Georgia lose it? Alabama absolutely won it. Yes, I think Georgia should have been more aggressive in the fourth quarter, especially with the last two drives, but Alabama won it. There's no question when you look at how they played in the last nine minutes of the football game, I mean, Deron Payne, Deshaun Hand, Mac Wilson, Minka Fitzpatrick, Ronnie Harrison, th that defense was playing with their hair on fire, uh, running around, making plays, making two huge stops to get the ball back to give their offense a chance. And then the way Tua was playing on offense and the receivers were coming up big, and then Najee Harris, I mean, he was running like an absolute animal. He looked a little bit like Marshawn Lynch in that fourth quarter. So I'm going to go with Alabama absolutely winning it. I disagree. Uh, it's not you're not trying to take any credit away from Alabama because of course they're the national champions. You're down 13 to nothing. You did something right, particularly with the moves that Nick Saban made along with the personnel and the things that they were doing. But you said it yourself, Tim Tebow. You talked about how the last couple of drives you weren't pleased with what Georgia saw. It's uh, what Georgia did rather. It's not just that you didn't give the football to Sony Michelle, which to me was ill-advised on the part of Kirby Smart. It's also looking at the cover two that you were playing on that particular last play. You're Dominic Sanders, obviously. You know, you're talking about a cover two. You're back. You're, you're the backstop in case your corner gets beaten. You've got to make a decision. Now, they had four verticals. This is what they explained. You got four guys running out there. They're running deep routes. We know that it could be a bit confusing, and a defensive back or safety has to make a decision. We get all of that. But at the same time, talk about now, Tago deserves credit for freezing Sanders to some degree because he kept looking right, looking right before he zipped left with the 41 yard touchdown pass. But you've got to sit. That's your responsibility. You've got to be able to do something not to mention a corner that did nothing to slow to slow down Smith at the line of scrimmage in any way just let him blow right by you and unimpeded so the combination of your corner along with Sanders at the safety spot giving up that particular play at that particular moment after a sack that had just taken place that's what I'm looking at of course total from a total perspective you got to look at Alabama the reigning defending national champions now and give them all the credit in the world but if we're going to parse and pick apart what we saw from the game and what should have transpired. What should have transpired was clearly a better defensive effort on Georgia's part, particularly in that last moment. George, that's Georgia why I say it. that's hey, what St stands Steve, out. Stephen A., let's just, Stephen A., let's just be honest about this. Y'all had me go first, so you could take the opposite side and just argue with me. Let's be honest. If, if I said it was Georgia, you would have picked Alabama. <laughs> it's, all right? Well, well, Enough well, said it's, about that. It's actually, but you're, you're going to pick Georgia it's, losing it's it not on true. one play? Yeah, no, yeah. Well, well, listen, you're going to pick Georgia play, losing it on me, one play? One play matters, Tim Tebow. Hey, Tim Tebow, you watch your, you watch your toe with me, Tim Tebow. I don't like your toe right now. The fact of the matter is, is that it, when, when, we, when I knew you were going to be on the show, I knew how I felt, and I knew you would dare to disagree with me. So if you want to look at it that way, that's fine. But I say what I mean and mean what I say. What stood out in my mind <laughs> is, how do you give up a 41-yard touchdown pass in that particular situation? That's what I'm saying. That's what like stood it wasn't out to me. Like I it wasn't a you. beautiful that throw. Can, that, I agree with you. That can never happen. I still think that it was a blown coverage. I think there was a miscommunication. They can say he looked him off. I think it's a blown coverage. You can, that can never happen. By the way, do you know how many times in practice you go against four verticals? Probably 150 times throughout the year. You, you know four verticals. It's a three-by-one set. You know four verticals. Number three is coming across. We get it. We see it all the time. But that's just one play. But leading up to that, I thought Georgia was still – being a somewhat aggressive. I mean, Jake Fromm overthrew a third and two when he had DeAndre Swift in the flat. That changes the game. The, another third and two where Sony Michelle's running up the middle. You know, that's, that's your best player. You have to find a way to get that, seal the game, and, and be able to, to, to win the national championship. Georgia had those opportunities. They just couldn't get it done. Yeah, and so guys. when Alabama had those opportunities, they were able to seal the deal because that's just part of their, their traits. It's part of their character, their habits right now. And that's a big reason I think they're able to get it done. Guys, if you want to say, Stephen A., T Tim Tebow, my friend, I have your back as usual on this show. Stephen A. Smith, if you want to say a team lost the game, it was Alabama trying to lose the game. Who shanked the field goal in overtime? They shanked the field goal by how many Papa yards? Anastas. That was right. I'm saying, I'm saying that's not Georgia. That's Alabama. Sh mm. If you have a game on the line in overtime and your field goal kicker shanks it, 
You can say, Tim, I know how people feel like, well, you can't just blame it on one play. I think you can. Because everyone knows we don't mean it literally. We're not saying it's not a team game and there aren't a lot of plays in the game and all that adds up to where how you got there. We all understand that. When we, when we say that's the play that lost the game, we mean here's a play that should be made that wasn't made. That should have been made. Alabama tried to lose the game. That was one way. Here's another way. Blame the Georgia defense. How about a sack for a loss in overtime? After you shank the field goal, after after you shank the field goal, a freshman quarterback takes a very freshman sack, a true freshman quarterback, for a loss. Game on the line. We were all thinking the same thing. This game's over. It was Alabama on, on several plays tr handing the game to Georgia. And still Alabama won. Now, had that been Georgia, had Georgia shanked a field goal, had had Fromm taken a a stupid sack. I mean, how else can you? The reason I say it's a freshman sack is you have time, you have a read, you can get rid of it. You could. There, there's all this time to do something, and still he's going back, 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 and then takes the sack with the game on the line, the national title game on the line in overtime in a classic game. So, like, if they, if there was a blunder like that on the Georgia side, I would say, yep. Georgia lost this game. Alabama didn't win it. Of course, it's absurd because both are true. But if you have to pick one. But that's not what uh, happened on the, on the Georgia side. Alabama made a play to win the game. Uh, 